Now come into next one. I told you that right, total three three words I have introduced: voice law, virtualization, um, union file system, layered file system. Yes, now that's what those we are going to use. Let me take only container. See, this is container. This is one container. You know, right? In order to create container, we have to take Docker image from Docker Hub. Okay, I have taken some, you know, send to us. Send to us. So this container is means which is running on top of my EC2 instance. Okay. After creating this container, see, this is a container one. After creating this container, I can go inside this container. I can install many softwares. Like see here, I'm installing many software. Like I have installed Git. Okay, I want to practice some Git commands. I have installed Git. Uh, I have installed... Uh, any like HTTP. I have installed tree package. I have created one file. I have created one folder. You can say I did many things. By going inside container, I did many things. So whatever you install, whatever you do inside container, each one forms one layer. Okay, see so a layer on top of C in the layer. Layer 1, layer 2, layer 3, layer 4, layer 5. So each activity will be formed as a layer, one on top of another one. Okay, whatever you do inside container, that forms a new layer. Okay, that's why we call Docker follows layered file system. This is what we call layered file system because whatever you do inside Docker, that forms a layer. That's why we call it a layered file system. Now then, what is union file system? Union file system. Uh, observe carefully, guys. This Docker image I took from Docker Hub, correct? Uh, in Docker Hub, so many images are there. From that, I took this uh, Docker image. Assume that we all working together in one project. See, uh, okay, just assume I'm your team lead. Just assume, okay? <laughs> this is me, I'm your team lead. And we all working in one project, we, in our class, okay, around 40, 50 members are there. We are working in our one project. So to work in the project, every, everyone's machine, okay, everyone's container should have some hundred softwares to work in that project. That project needs hundred softwares, like, you know, the HTTP tree, like that. That means I want every one of you should install thousands of or hundreds of software in your containers. Okay. So if I say that like that, some people may take older versions. Some people may take uh, up newer versions. Some of you might not able to install properly. Some of you might able to install properly. In that case, everyone's container will have different, different environments. Correct. Different environment means. Every container, see, some people may install properly, some, but some people may not install properly. That means everyone's container is having different, different environments. Correct or not? So that's a big problem, right? In fact, that's a hard work, right? But here, smart work is, what is a smart work? See, here, I'll install some hundred softwares. You can see, already five are there. I'll install hundred softwares, like this, 95 more. Okay. Anything, okay, I'll, I'll install hundred softwares, being a team lead. I'll, I'll create one container by taking Docker image from Docker. I will install 100 softwares, only one person. Then what I'll do from this my container, my con this is a container one, from this container, I will create one image. See? From this container, I'll create one image. Like for that, I'll give a name called Sai image. Okay. I'll create one image. That means from Docker containers, we can create images. I'm repeating. From containers, you can create image. When you create image, this image contains OS. Which OS? What OS? Sent OS. Plus 100 softwares. Plus 100 softwares. So that image contains OS plus whatever softwares which are there at every day. Okay, so this image, this I image, I'm going to share with you. I'll tell you how to share it later on. 
He said, I'm going to share with every one of you, like, you know, 40 members. That means everyone has Docker image, having OS plus 100 softwares. Okay, then what you are going to do, you are going to create one container. You are going to create one container from the image which I have shared with you. You can see. You are going to create one container, this container too. Okay, which I have shared with you. That is so. Understanding, right? That's what actually we are going to do. See, I'm repeating. When I create image from my container, that image contains OS plus on its optics. Okay, OS plus. See. So this image I'm going to share with you. From this, my, from this image, my image, whatever I've shared with you, you are going to create content. So that container having this OS, and you can see all those thousand softwares. That is so. That means this OS, whatever I've shared with you, that OS is having all hundred softwares. Right? You can see like this. So these hundred softwares, when they are in image format. They form unity. They form unity. I'm repeating. When the software in container format, that's a layer. Okay, layer. When you create image from the container, that image contains all softwares. Okay, so that time these layers they form unity. You know that unity is strength. You might have heard unity is strength that you can't break further. Correct. You can't divide apart. So why we call union file system? Why? Because when I share this image with you, you can't do anything to that image. You can't install, you can't add any software, you can't remove software. If at all you want to do something, you have to create containers first. Then only you can do it. By going inside container, you can do it. Suppose I, whatever you have shared in that image, uh, I want to uninstall one software. So when it is in image format, you can't do it. If you want to uninstall, you have to create a container. Then you go inside content, then you uninstall. Or you want to add one more software, you go inside content, then you add. That, like that you can do. But when it, is, when it is in image format, that time you can't do anything. I'll, I'll give an example. See, this image is like a pen drive. Pen drive. This content is like a laptop. So what if I give one pen drive, hey, in this pen drive, one movie is it? Or 100, 100 you know, pictures are there, 100 images. Okay, in that pen drive, 100 images are there. So, we want to add one more image or you want to delete one image. Can you open pen drive doors and can you take out one image? Can you edit? Can you de delete or edit? Can you do that? No. If at all you want to do something to that images which are there in pen drive, you have to attach to laptop. Then only you can do that. Correct or not? So, when it is in pen drive format, you can't do anything to that images. But when, when you attach that one to laptop, then you can do something, correct? You, you can go inside laptop, then you can edit, you can delete. Correct or not? The same thing. That means when it is an image format, okay, in that image also all layers are there, but those forms unity. You can't do anything. Okay. So that's why we call this as union file system. When it is in, when the softwares are in container format, we call layered file system. When you create an image, they form union. That, that When it is image format, that time we call union file system. Okay, layered file system means simple containers. Sorry. Layered file system means in, in container, whatever you do, that forms a layer on one on top of another one. Union file system means when you create an image, in that image, we have all softwares, they form unity. That's why we call this method union file system. Okay, container means layered file system, image means unit unit file system. Just remember that. Okay, that is so. These are the three keywords. If you understand these one, that's it. You you understood Docker how we how Docker works. Okay. Yeah. Uh, guys, you understood till here. I'll I'll come to your doubts, but you understood till here. Everyone. Yes, sir. One doubt, sir. Yeah, please go ahead. Go ahead. 
like uh, that uh, due to network issue i didn't understand like what do, if you have base machine is windows as in what will happen can you raise uh, i'll i'll explain then of things okay okay because again elaborated explanation is there sir yeah. my question is uh, like we cannot edit the image right but if we are doing content resolution we can uh, customize it like you said right what exactly means content resolution i mean if we can edit the image and all Sorry, no, no. You didn't understand the main concept itself. Uh, so you know, no, I want you to go through this video once again. Okay. No, so, sir. I understood and I had properly. The thing you said is that we cannot change the image, right? It's a, but if we can add something when it is like uh, in the inside the container, right? So yeah. What does uh, container exactly means? Because image itself contains many things, right? No, your so, question is what is container? no 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 how can we change the image this is the thing like right? see yeah if you want to change that image what do you do from that image you create container and what right? is container it is a machine container is like a normal machine that image is os so if let's suppose i take my sql image for an example right from uh, docker hub so it is an image no 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 once you you can't take a mysql and all the hub docker hub contains images images means what operating systems <clears throat> image images means os operating systems having only nine, nine only 5% of that os got it no sir i did not get my question is sir let's suppose in a real time like in companies they say download the mysql image from docker hub and start working right so when we pull the image let's suppose in the power cell in windows what it is we uh, use it right mysql image or postgres sql image whatever the database so am i missing something yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll i'll tell you yeah i'm i'm coming to that point basically yes, i yes. did not understand container <laughs> you didn't understand container it's a what is container kind of confused i understood uh, but uh, i don't know Yeah, yeah. You tell me what is container. That first initially I said something. The first I started with that word. What is container? You understood that one. What is container? It contains OS and uh, also lot of software we can install on it. I said container is like a normal machine, correct? It's a virtual machine. Yeah, virtual machine. That you that you understood initially. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Also understood advantage of Docker and uh, Drawback of virtual machine. Okay, okay. Yeah. I'll 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 come to I'll explain that one again. I'll repeat that one. Okay. Those who are having doubts. Okay. So let me give uh, some more clarity on this. Simple guys, yeah, it's very easy. You don't need not to get confused. Let me explain. There is a hub called Docker Hub. There is a hub called Docker Hub. Docker Hub contains so many images. It contains so many images. Images means operating systems. Nothing more than that. these are operating systems but in terms of docker we use the word images okay so these images contains only 5% only okay five for example this is red hat image red hat it contains only 5% of red hat features this is centos it contains 5% of centos features only. okay so docker hub contains images having operating systems okay having operating systems now suppose okay i want to have one uh, uh, red hat container i want to have one red hat container okay container is like a normal machine okay so to how to how to create red hat container i need to take red hat image from docker hub i need to take red hat image from docker hub from that i'll create container so if i create container from red hat image that will become red hat container only correct then you go inside container you install whatever software that you want whatever you want that is how it works okay so here one more advantage is suppose if you install some thousand softwares hundred softwares from your container also you can create one image from your container also you can create one image now this image see here this image a this image b image b contains os plus what are ways that you took here plus 100 softwares this i can share with you this image 
when i share from this image you can trade your own continuous in that case your containers have that's what os plus 100 softwares automatically okay that is how so i hope you understood now understood are you there Are you understood uh, the one who asked doubt? Hello, sir. Yeah, please go ahead. You understood, um, now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But okay. I think uh, you are saying uh, if uh, um, Linux is main, okay, uh, then Unix uh, and other uh, other uh, uh, system that means we can uh, modify this uh, OS, right? Now, if I if I get this image, yeah, that's what here you can see. Mm -hmm. suppose this is mr x mm -hmm. y z so x wants to add five more softwares okay mm -hmm. so x he got my image which i shared then he will create container in that container already having 100 softwares then he can install five more okay he can install five more from that again he, he has to create one image now that image is having os plus 105 softwares like that so why is it Okay, already hundred softwares are there in his container. So he wants to uninstall some three softwares. He can go and insert container. He uninstalled three softwares. Uninstalled. From that he has to create one image. That image contains OS plus ninety seven softwares. Got it? So that is how. That is the way. Sir, so that means uh, we can uh, modify this uh, uh, OS in our. Uh... uh that means um uh what what uh, yeah what's what's your doubt um uh, that means how um are that's okay that's okay first you frame your question take time you frame your question then ask your doubt okay yeah okay, okay. Yeah. hello sir for uh, using this image of 100 software we have to means how can we use this image which one this one means yeah this one yeah, how can you do, you uh, means uh, i'm sharing with others right so others can use correct the requirement i have given we, right? we don't have to install or uh, uninstall any softwares uh, but just using them for our purpose Yeah, yeah, correct. This image I am sharing so that they, they can use. In fact, if I want, if I want from this image, I can create my own one more container. This is for me. Means for using also, we have to uh, create container, right? Container only we use, right? Ultimately, we create container. In that only we can do something, right? How did we yeah, use Git? For that, we we took one EC2 instance, right? Everything we did inside EC2 only. Yeah, yeah right so yeah, that's right right that's okay it's very complicated sir are no no not not at all not at all you just you know you need to go through this class once again it's dead easy very easy to not at all complicated just you need to go through this class you know once again you have to go through this video hope we guys, can others uh, others you understood guys others everyone yes once we start practical session yes. it will be good i guess yeah 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 it's not at all complex to it's easy yeah. only just you need to understand it. just you go through once i am pretty yes. sure things will be very very clear got it that's all theory like uh, complicated yeah practical is that easy simple let me just you know give you a quick overview guys what are we covered so far in simple terms See, suppose my requirement is in. I know I want some hundred containers. I want. I want to use. What is the why way to use and all? That's unnecessary for you as of now. I want hundred containers. Okay, I want hundred containers. So what I can do simply, mm -hmm. I take one EC2 instance. On top of that, I install Docker. Okay, and I create containers. to create container we need os from docker hub i take my required os okay then i'll create containers like this what or os i want i can take so these docker hub os only we call images so to create a container you need that os image 
Okay, that is how we can create any number of containers. That is a requirement, right? This one you understood. Okay. Suppose the requirement is I want uh, you know every, those who are working in my project. Okay, everyone should have their own container. Everyone should have their own container. In there, there are EC2 instances. Everyone has their own EC2 instance. Uh, in that, uh, they want one container. That container should have some 500 softwares. Assume just 500 softwares. So I can instruct them, hey, you create a container, you can install 500 softwares. But that's hard work. But smart work is, what is the smart work here? From Docker Hub, I take one base OS, that's what, image, image. Okay. Then I create containers. Then by going inside container, I install all finite softwares. Okay. I install. Then from this, I'll create one image from this. See, this is image A that I took from Docker Hub. From this, I'll create one image, image B. Image B that I created image from my own container. That image contains OS. Assume that this image, we took image A, that is Red Hat. So this, this contains Red Hat plus these 500 softwares. So image B, I'm going to share with everyone. The copy of each image, I'll share with all my team members. Okay, see it? something like this. Okay, when I share that image, from that image, they create container. That container has all finite software so that they can work inside the container. Someone else also they can work. Like that, that's a smart work, right? So that's the thing, simple. That's what we discussed so far. So OS or virtualization means content is depending upon base machines OS virtually. You can see. Because it is serving only 5% OS. Even 95% Unix it is staying from base machine. So content is depending upon base machines OS. OS means that Unix virtually. That's why we call OS level virtualization. What is a layered file system? When you install any software that forms a layer in content, that's what layered file system. What is union file system? When you create an image from your container, that image also having softwares, but they form layer. I mean, they form unity. Those layers form unity. That's what union file system. So if at all you want to edit these softwares, you can't edit when it is in image format. You have to create container. Then by going inside content, you can edit. You can install and install. Okay. From that, you can you have to create, you can create one more image. So that image contains softwares the way you edited. Okay. That is how. So by using image, we can create container. From container, again, we can create one more image. In that case, image B contains, so image A, so is, plus whatever softwares that you installed, those softwares also. From this, again, you create container, you can create container. You install some three more softwares. From this, again, you create one image. That image contains OS plus these two, plus these three, 25 softwares. Like that, you can do whatever you want. Okay, that is simple summary of what we discussed so far. Understood everyone? Yes, that sir. is a Windows based machine. Yeah, that, that I will explain. That uh -huh. uh, the one who missed that Windows part, I will explain. Remaining you understood Windows also based machine? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, oh. yes sir. Uh, sir. I want small. Uh, sir. Doubt. No? Yeah, please. Now you can continue with your doubts, everyone. Yeah, yeah. Sir, without one minute.